Hi, welcome to this complete beginner whittling lesson. And in this lesson, we are going to look at part one of whittling a simple cactus. And if you're new to the series, uh, these I'm calling lessons instead of tutorials because we're going to take time to explain every step that we take, not just how to do it, but why and uh, give you some pointers along the way and we'll we'll pause where we need to to do that. So uh, in part one of this video, we will be taking this first step, uh, just starting to shape our cactus here. And our goal by the end of part three is that we'll have this final uh, finished cactus. So let's start with our learning goals for this video on Simple Cactus part one lesson. You will be able to apply your knowledge of push and stop cuts to a new project. So no new skills here, really, if you've been following along from the previous projects. Uh, of course, if you're just joining for this series, that'll work fine, too. Uh, we're going to be looking at push cuts and stop cuts in order to start to shape our, our wood to this. So we're going to start with a 1 by 1 by 3 inch block. And what I've done is I have started to mark this the way that I would uh, just to save a little bit of time. And I'm going to show you how I did that. So first thing we're going to do is mark uh, one inch up from the bottom of the carving all the way around. Now here's a little tip if I've got another one by one inch block is I can use that as my measuring thing. I'm just going to set that there. And then that will allow me to draw my line. And you can see I've already marked that uh, one inch up all the way across the other sides. So I've marked that off. And that's going to correspond to the base of the carving, this part here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, on the bottom side here, I'm going to measure a half inch across on the bottom side and so you can see I've actually already marked that but here at one half inch I'm just going to put a little a little dot there and I'm going to do two things um, one is on the bottom here I'm going to go ahead and connect the midpoint the one half inch point on each of these sides and what that's going to do is it's going to show me a square on the bottom so it's going to look about like this So again, I'm just connecting the midpoints of each of those, and what you'll notice is on my finished piece here, uh, that's the square that's going to be that's going to be left on on the bottom. And so then the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, connect that midpoint to the corners there and there. And I already did that on the other three sides for the sake of time, but that's how I'm going to mark the base. And for ease of uh, clarity, these corners are what I'm going to carve off in order to make the base. Now the next thing I'm going to do to mark up uh, the pattern onto this this piece is that I'm going to, similar to in the last video, uh, I'm going to I'm going to mark a third of the way across the wood. And I'm just eyeballing that about a third of the way across, and I'm marking that up and down. And again, if I keep my fingers locked and my knuckle in place there, I can just flip that around and get that same distance about a third of the way across, and mark it on the sides that I haven't marked yet. And for clarity there, what we're gonna do is we're going to remove this corner, this corner. Basically, we're gonna remove the corner on all four sides. It's gonna be very similar, if you watched the previous video on uh, carving the little people, it's going to be a very similar process, um, except for that we're going to stop short of carving a complete cylinder 
then we're gonna leave some some flat sides here and that'll just be a different kind of stylistic design choice so today I'm going to use my uh, flex cut uh, detail whittling knife and this is one that I recommended in my uh, how to choose your first whittling knife video and so I just want to demonstrate that these knives will work really well if you're a beginner and uh, this is a good choice for you so what we're going to do to start here is we're going to place a stop cut right at one of these corners that we're going to carve off um, and I'm going to put right where that goes into the base. So again a stop cut is going to be a cut that we put directly into the wood um, perpendicularly which is going to stop our push cut that goes into it and make a, a chip that comes off like that. Right. So I'm going to repeat that and then make my stop cut a little bit dip, dip bigger. I'm going to make another push cut into that and I'm going to keep doing that until I get down to the line, the width of this corner that I want to carve off. Now my goal in this project is that I'm going to make this corner completely flat. So I'm going to back up and I'm going to keep using these push cuts. Now remember with a push cut, you're going to use your thumb on the back of the blade and you're going to counterbalance with your fingers on, on your other hand so that you don't lose control of that and go and whack off the, the corner here. But uh, what I'm going to do is just keep pushing, sliding over that surface until I have a flat, flat surface in line with those corner lines that I marked. Once I'm close to that, um, I'm going to go ahead and flip it around, and then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do some push cuts on the top so that I can get that entire surface flat. So you can see what I've done now is basically I've taken that entire corner off. That's uh, essentially completely flat. Now, I make that look a little bit easy because I've done it a ton of times, but what you want to do is practice just kind of skimming over the edge until you get a nice, uh, clear, flat cut. And of course, the corner of the base is still going to uh, stick out here. Okay, so we're going to have to do that three more times for the three other corners. Now, you might take several cuts to do this, and that's fine. Each time I'm going just a little bit deeper. It really doesn't matter how many cuts you take. As you get more comfortable and confident, you might take some larger cuts and do it more quickly. But for starters, making multiple cuts to do this, even if you're taking more cuts than I am, that is totally fine. I'm going to flatten out a little bit more here before I turn it around. And I've got a nice flat surface going here. So I'm going to turn it around. And I'm going to do the same thing the other direction in order to flatten out that whole side. And now I've got that whole side flattened. All right, we are going to do that two more times. So, getting my stop cuts. And my push cuts and what you're trying to do is just practice making a, a clean cut so that when you come in here the chip comes off if it doesn't come off that's fine you repeat the cuts you never want to twist or pull with your knife uh, you want to just make clean cuts and practice doing that and this this project in particular is all about making clean flat cuts and I think that's why it's a good beginner project because you can get some practice making these smooth surfaces so you see I'm close to that and I'm just taking these really, it's like I'm shaving the, the edge off here, right? And I'm just following that surface just down a little, just a hair's width down into my blade and shaving that off until I get a nice flat surface there. So let's do that one more time on the last corner. I'll take some larger cuts this time maybe. Just to show you, it is possible with this knife. And as you practice, you can get comfortable taking some more of those big, bold cuts. 
can even start down here and do that. You're breaking a little bit, which I'm not horribly concerned about because I know I've got plenty of space to flatten out underneath here, right? But take your time, make sure you've got smooth cuts because the style we're really going for this time is going to be one where we've got a lot of really nice flat surfaces that are kind of coming together at different angles. And that's an intentional stylistic design here instead of going for a, a perfect cylinder. So when you look at it at the top, you should see a nice octagon like this, very similar to uh, the first step that we took to making a cylinder. And you could keep you could keep softening these corners and make it a an actual round cylinder all the way around. I'm not going to do that on this project. I'm going to leave it an octagon, which means there are going to be some flat surfaces here that are original pieces of wood, and that's okay. The whittling police won't come and get you. You'll be okay if you leave a some some original wood surfaces on there so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to turn this around and i'm going to i'm going to remove these corners like this and let me mark that just to make that clear and so this entire triangle on the corner i'm going to remove i'm going to do that by using stop cuts at an angle here and you may take as many cuts as you want to do this but my goal is to create one flat surface along this triangle corner that's gonna go all the way up to that edge of the square that I drew on the bottom of the carving. So I wanna, as I work my way down, I wanna get my entire knife blade across it, like that, so that I'm getting a completely flat surface. And you can take multiple cuts to get there. And as I get closer, I can see I've got to get this edge a little bit further down. And this one a little bit further down, which means I'm going to come back and maybe make another cut up the, the middle. And check the bottom. And I'm pretty close to that. Pretty close to that square line. And it's going to give you a nice flat angled corner there, right? This project's all about creating those, those flat surfaces. So... Now I need to do that three more times. I'm gonna go a little bit faster on these corners. You see I can do that fairly quickly. But you take as many steps, as many cuts as you need to do that. Okay, got down to there pretty quick. I made a flat cut. But you can see with a sharp knife and a little bit of practice, you can do that pretty quickly. If it gets off, you can kind of start on one side like that and then do the other side like that, but then you got to make sure you come back down the middle and shave it flat. Feel that your knife blade really can go across that all the way down. Okay, and then let's do that last corner here. Very similar. And this is just fun. I like, I like making little geometric shapes with my carvings. One of the things I like about this project is just um, seeing how we can use some different patterns to make some nice shapes and some nice hard edges. That's a specific style choice and uh, you may or may not prefer that, but I think it's good practice either way to make those um, make those hard, hard corners. So there's that base. Uh, and the base is actually completely done now. Um, we finished that that part of it, you can see even on my finished piece, that's that's exactly what the base looks like. And it's just a simple way to shape the bottom of that piece of wood to make it kind of a an interesting base for the plant. So that is it for part one of this video, and I appreciate you watching. Uh, join for part two, and I will see you there. Happy whittling.